What's up everyone, it's Mo and I can barely contain my excitement because today I'm gonna be doing a comparison of the Arma Granite BLX version three versus the Arma Big Rock BLX version three. Both two very popular vehicles from Arma, both right at the same price point. So we're gonna be comparing different specs, different items that are new, uh, some things that are different, and more importantly, we're gonna run them head to head and see who's faster stock straight out of the box. All right, family, up first, we got the wheelbase measurement of the granite. It is 12 inches. Big Rock version three. It is one inch bigger at 13 inches. And I just Googled how to measure the wheelbase. You measure from the center of the tires. So that's the wheelbase breakdown between them. Big Rock is bigger by one inch. The stance width on the Arma Granite BLX version three 13 and a half inches stance width, as you know, on the Big Rock version three, which they enlarged versus version two, 14 inches. I know you're gonna say, well, how large are the Proline Badlands compared to the, uh, to the D-Boot Fortresses? Well, that's coming right up. D-Boot Fortresses. There you go. That's how wide they are. Okay, Proline Badlands. That's how wide they are. Each of them, two and a half inches. So they're identical. Still on the subject of tires here. And um, just to clarify that if you haven't watched my previous videos, I put Proline Badlands on the stock Big Rock. Okay, so if you actually notice the photo here, it comes with some D-boot, rag and rocks, uh, however you pronounce that, I probably slaughtered it. But there's D-boot fortresses that come on the granite. And you can see that they're vented. There's these little holes, right? So you can ride through a variety of different types of environment and weather, and, and it's supposed to help. That is new. And you can see on the stock tires that come on the big rock they are vented as well and these tires look sharp i actually like the black on black look um but i just went with the pro line because i'm just a pro line junkie but just wanted to clarify something on the tires for people that haven't watched my previous videos looking at them from the front you can see that the granite is visibly taller than the big rock by how much let's see That granite right there, eight and a half inches tall. And the big rock, about eight inches tall, right? So the granite is a half inch taller than the big rock. All the other items that are new on the Arma Granite BLX version three, Can digest that material on your own this is the big rock what's new in terms of electronics um, and the remote they're running the exact same as you can see on the side of each of the boxes they're running the BLX 100, which is the ESC that was in the version two of each vehicle, but they are running a new engine, Spectrum Firma, okay? And another thing to note too is the 15% um, more torque um, for the servo, okay? So in, in terms of the electronics layout, identical. That's the big rock. One thing to note about the big rock, but this is a key difference. It runs this high speed bearing in the big rock. If you notice in the granite, there is not that high speed bearing. So that's a key thing to note. You know, they did some work on the bumpers too. They made, they made the big rocks pretty much the same style, 
I think that's a little different on the rear, but they got it matte black. The front is the same style as the version two, but it's matte black. The granite has some nice changes on the bumper. It's more heavy duty. It's tough. It feels super tough. And then the back bumper too is, is tough as, as well. And it's different versus the version two BLX. Just wanted to highlight that as in terms of uh, what's kind of different from the aesthetics on the bumpers on the V2 uh, versus the V3s for each vehicle. Another thing I just love is the way the new shocks feel. I mean, they just feel awesome. These new shocks they put on here, whatever they did different to it. I think it's silicone O-rings. Actually, these feel, these feel like they're set stiffer. I actually like the way those feel versus the big rock. I think I got to tighten the big rocks up. But yeah, the shocks feel great on, on both of them. They feel like butter. Man, I just love the body on the granite. I love that paint job. Got a little glossy paint job to it. It looks sick. It's all graffitied up. Just sweet looking. I like the way that looks, man. It is tough. And I love this matte black on the big rock. Man, I just love black on black. Murdered out. They rock the same wheelie bars. Okay, exact same wheelie bars. So you can see here, I mean, there, there's, there's some differences in the physical stature, right? Wheelbase, height, stance, but similar guts, right? Engines the same, ESC's the same, gearing's the same, diffs are the same. So really, with that, it's time to see if the speed's the same. All right, everyone, it's time. Arma Granite BLX version three versus the Arma Big Rock version three. Both are running stock. Both are running 5,200 milliamp 3S LiPo's ADC. Let's get this thing started. Up first, we got the Granite BLX version three. Let's send her down and let's bring her back. All right, let's see what you got. Let's do, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Woohoo, that was nice. That was nice, bring it back again. That was nice. 49. Let's run it back again. Send her back down. 49 on that first run. Let's get it. Woo! That was... That was down. Let's see what that was. Man, this thing rides so nice. All right, folks. There goes the 50 miles an hour for the Arma Granite BLX version 3. 50 miles an hour. Big Rock, you're up. Let's see what you got. One more time down. One more time down. Woo! She feels nice, man. Let's go. Woo! That fell fast. That fell fast. Let's see. Let's do it one more time. I don't think I got enough runway with that Saturn that creeped up on me. Let's see what that was. 52. 
52. All right, let's see what that was. That felt really fast, 52. One more time for good measure. Fifty-two again. Two very, very awesome, awesome, awesome vehicles. Man, Arma did a great job designing them both. Like I said, don't even ask me which one I want. But let's get a little footage of them coming at you, huh? I love this granite takes off like a monster. I just love the way it runs. Just torque for days. Ooh. Look at that, on her feet. Even did a trick shot for you. Let's bring it in folks. Bring this big rock back. Equally fun to drive. Wheelie monster in itself. Super gripping. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. All right, everyone, there you have it. The Arma Big Rock version three versus the Arma Granite version three speed test. We have our winner. The Arma Big Rock at 52, and that's actually a mile per hour slower than what I've done in my previous tests, which I've done 53. Check out my other videos on that. The Arma Granite BLX version 3 did 50 out the box. This is Mo. Hit like, hit subscribe for more content like this. Team. Just wanted to brief you on something. As you know, my previous runs with the Big Rock went 53 miles per hour, today it went 52, and I think I found the culprit. This bearing was offset and not in its holder, and that's because I was taking the 20T out of the Big Rock and putting the 15T in. And uh, we can just learn something from that. So when you're doing the pinion replacement, make sure the bearing goes back in the holder and snaps back in place. Could have cost the Big Rock a mile per hour today, but either way, it does 52, 53. Like I said, this is Mo. Appreciate the time every time.